ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال وقال إنني من المسلمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله We have with us today our dear brother Sheikh Salman here in the studio with us in Qatar, mashallah. Salman is from Japan, and we just finished working together with Aira here uh, during the World Cup, giving da'wah, alhamdulillah. And he's on his way to the airport now, mashallah. Yeah. But I said before he goes to the airport, we have to share some of our da'wah experiences. And it's one of the things that we benefited, our time being here to, uh, in Qatar together, was benefiting uh, from other people's experiences and what they have to offer. And one of the things that I, I noticed when you, we talked about Japan, and what many people don't realize, is that when giving da'wah to Japanese people, there's a different style, different mm. approach we have to use. Uh, and we're going to come to that, inshallah ta'ala. I'm sure a lot of people have questions as well, how you became Muslim. And that's usually how we start, you know, asking that question. But inshallah, if we have time, okay. we'll come to that at the end, inshallah ta'ala. <laughs> because the more important thing now is how to give da'wah and what is the situation of mm. da'wah then in Japan, inshallah. So before we start, your name in Japanese. I don't want to get it yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. If you could tell us, how do you pronounce your name in Japanese? Okay, Japanese uh, pronunciation, uh, Sugimoto mm. Kyo Ichiro. Okay. So the family name first, yeah. and the given name last. Oh, that's how it is. Yeah, Absolutely. that is the order. Okay. Very good. So Sugimoto. So everyone in Japan, it's always going to be uh, family name first? Yeah, right. Okay, and then last. Okay, exactly, interesting, yeah. interesting. Uh, so you can call me uh, Sugimoto, it's fine? Sugimoto, I'll call you Salman, it's much Salman easier. Salman is fine, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, the same name. It's, it's much easier, yeah. alhamdulillah, for, for all of us. Jazakallah khair. Could you tell us a little about, about Islam in Japan, you know, mm, uh, just okay. a, a brief history right. and what's the situation of Islam there now? Okay, so let me start a uh, general demographic, de demographic feature. Mm. It's about uh, 124 million mm. people now Muslim. in Japan, out of which uh, only 200,000 are Muslims. 90% mm. uh, of them are immigrants. Mm. So only 10% of them are so local Japanese. Japanese yeah. yeah. And most of them are converts. M most of them are, are the, uh, immigrants. Where are they coming from? A particular country or, or all around? Uh, well, uh, particularly from Indonesia, mm -hmm. they are almost 30%. Mm -hmm. And the Pakistan and the Bangladesh, they probably 10% each. Okay, yeah. sure. interesting. Very okay, good. so um, the percentage of the Muslim population is only 0.16%. Yeah. So it's a super minority and yeah. so invisible. Mm -hmm. If we travel just normally, without in no intention, without intention to visiting masjid or meeting Muslim, probably you will not meet so any single Muslim well, there. Yeah. yeah, so that is the situation yeah, mm -hmm. in terms of population. Then uh, how Islam was started, uh, the first Muslim, it is uh, historically speaking, mm -hmm. which is recorded, it was 1891. 1891. Okay, mm -hmm. when the, <coughs> the Turkish uh, the missioner, missions, uh, they came to Japan mm -hmm. with big ship, about Excellent. 700, 800 Turkish people came to, to see a uh, Meiji emperor, and they, but they on the return, they have some trouble because of typhoon hit the, mm -hmm. the ship. Mm -hmm. And then most of them died. Yes, However, right. some survival, and then Japan, Japanese people, they try to help these uh, survivals. Mm -hmm. And uh, they go collect donations, a lot of donations, and they to give them to, uh, to the, the bereaved family mm -hmm. yeah, in Turkey. So one uh, journalist uh, was on the ship and uh, gave this donation to uh, uh, the emperor at that time is uh, uh, the Uthman Empire, mm -hmm. uh, Abdul Hamid II. Yeah, yes. yeah, and then there he stayed for a long time and he became one, a teacher, a Japanese language teacher yes, for the Turkish military. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, you know, interesting enough, this the UK, the from British, uh, there's Abdul, Abdul, uh, uh, Abdullah Quiriam. Mm. Yes, I, I remember yes, yes. Quidium, he, he, mm. he was a dyer mm -hmm. and he uh, like dawah to this uh, Japanese non-Muslim and mm. he became Muslim. Interesting. So that was the first Muslim I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. in his yeah. record. Uh, yeah, but, but that is only, uh, only uh, we can say dots, yeah, there's mm. only some, some the, the dots only. So the, as a community wise, most probably 1980s uh, when the Japan uh, economically saw growth and there's so many foreign workers, mm. the immigrants came to Japan. Mm. Uh, that was probably a more mass uh, Muslim immigration. Mm. 
So it means Japan, I mean, the Muslim history in Japan is just a matter of only 40 years. Mashallah. Yeah. Mashallah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And, and how is the Dao there now? What is the Dao scene? Well, um, because of so called you know, halal industry yeah, that came from Malaysia, from Indonesia, mm -hmm. it really influenced the government as well as the business sector. So more and more people they are accepting the Muslim uh, visitors as well as Muslim business. Mm -hmm. So it started in 2010. So like last 10 years or 12 years, mm -hmm. uh, we have more interaction uh, with Muslims and the more, uh, let's say, inter-religious marriage, or you can say mm -hmm. international marriage, mm -hmm. are taking place. Uh, so Usually when, when a sister accepts Islam, you yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why the Islam now gradually spreading. Mm -hmm. sure. yeah. So now we, we are receiving more second generation now. Okay. Yeah. And the most people accept Islam, is it you know, men and women or mostly women or? Yeah. 70, 80 percent of women. women right. Yeah, that's interesting because most places around the world, that's the case. Anyway. Right. But the Muslims, they study right. very hard. Hey, yeah, seriously. That's, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, but okay, uh, I want to ask a question now about how to give dawah to Japanese people okay. because what I found is I, I sat with some brothers who are specialized in, in e dawah, and there's obviously a big uh, um, a hope, you know, the, to give dawah in Japan, and, and there's been a lot of focus in the e dawah, but they found the ROI, the return on investment that they're investing for the people to reach, it's, it's, it's very bad in Japan. Not many mm. people actually accept. So even many of the organizations stop giving that mm -hmm. online be, because mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. But I, when I first sat with you the, for the first time and you started explaining some different things, I understood you know, that the way we give DAO in the mm -hmm. West mm -hmm. is, doesn't work in Japan. Yeah. So what is the best way, the keys to Japanese okay. people giving DAO? So lots of things to be mentioned here. Mm -hmm. So first of all, um, uh, Japan has a so much uh, strong social conformity, mm -hmm. so a very homogeneous society. So 98 percent they are so-called Japanese, mm -hmm. right? Only two percent they immigrants. Mm -hmm. So the sameness is so important for them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, to become Muslim is to be different, right? Different. Okay. Yeah. yeah socially, culturally, become alienated. Mm -hmm. So this is, I mean, very hard for the most Japanese people. Uh, to become different. I, I remember I was sitting yeah. with some um, some police. We had a, a program with the police in Ireland, and it was interesting. They were joking with me because even though I was born in America, uh, I'm McCarthy. I'm you know very as Irish as you can get when yeah. it comes to my tribe. And they said, now you're back in your homeland, but you're actually you've become uh, a, a migrant as well because mm. you're a minority mm. because you're a Muslim. You know? So yeah, you, you, yeah, you're yeah, actually yeah. joined the minorities, yeah, even yeah. though you're from one of the major tribes of Ireland, subhanAllah. So I understand that well, yeah. Yeah, subhanAllah. so that is the one factor. Mm. So that's why we need to start gradually mm. and establish a brotherhood or sisterhood. Mm. First, build up a trust and the human relationship mm -hmm. before we really talk about the Islam Excellent. in detail. Yeah. Uh, because people first and foremost uh, have to have you know, family and community yeah, rather than just only having a faith. Mm. This faith cannot be sustained alone. Mm. Yeah? So that's why Japanese people, when it comes to religion, so they imagine like uh, affiliation to a certain group, right? So this, in the case of Islam, is a Muslim community. Mm -hmm. So they will see how the Muslim community is growing and how they are, you know, the cohesive and the strong, mm -hmm. uh, because it will protect them from their alienation yeah, from excellent. their main society. Mm -hmm. So that is a thing. That's why uh, the argumentation is not really welcome. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. So it's more friendship. Mm -hmm. uh, casual, uh, more cultural approach is really welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th th the first step. Very yeah? good. Excellent. So that is the first approach. Mm -hmm. So th anything else you want to add to that yeah. about that? Add to that. Okay. So when it comes to like a dawa, people mm -hmm. think that the achievement of dawa is always shahada, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, but in the case of Japanese, ca I mean society, shahada uh, is something so uh, big step mm -hmm. because uh, it contains uh, commitment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to become Muslim is so hard at a very starting point. So uh, we are focusing on not shahada, mm. but rather we focus more on iman. Mm. Iman, and especially the first pillar of iman is a belief in Allah, mm. especially the tawhid part. Excellent. So to understand, to accept the existence of God, and this God is only one. Yeah? Mm. So this is the most important for the Japanese people to understand first, to accept. Mm. And from this pa perspective, uh, it is not difficult mm -hmm. for them to just accept because it's only a matter of the faith. Mm -hmm. Only internally they change, only mm -hmm. their worldview, their perspective will be changed. Mm -hmm. 
So maybe for outwardly there is no change, so there is no so much social uh, alienation or culture alienation. That's only belief change, right? Okay. But that is a big thing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, because they are avoiding shirk. Mm -hmm. And the only shirk is not actually, it's a major top mm -hmm. sin, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. So and I remember one hadith that uh, in Sahih hadith in the Muslim it says that uh, uh, So uh, those who understand, those who know uh, this shahada, mm -hmm. the la ilaha illallah, uh, there is no way they worship but Allah mm -hmm. and they die in the paradise, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why understanding this uh, existence of God and oneness of God is so really matters. That's the foundation. And it's yeah. very interesting you mentioned this because it, it reminds me of the, the people of Mecca Obviously, they had a, a very strong understanding of what la ilaha illallah meant. That's why they refused to accept yeah. it. And the Japanese people, they said, you know, they, they, they understand it as a, as a commitment. If yeah. they're going to make that change, it's not just something they're going to say, yeah. but it's something that has a commitment and an attachment. So that's yes. very interesting. Yes, the, the, yes. The the integrity is there, yeah. always. Because they don't, what does it mean to understand, to accept it? Mm. Of course, there are prayers and the fasting, right? Yeah. And the avoiding porks and in these uh, yeah, alcoholic yeah. beverages. They already understand. Mm. It's so famous, right? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Uh, so these are, these are the main things, or any, anything else when it comes to giving Dawah to the Japanese? Uh, any, any tips or tools? Well, um, okay, let's come to like understanding of the Quran. Mm. Okay? Uh, all Hidayah is coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I mm. believe. So whatever I speak is actually nothing in front of Allah, actually nothing. So what, why not let the Quran speak Excellent. in front of the Japanese people? Mm. That's why uh, I work for. Uh, Japanese translation okay. of the Quran because I myself mm. uh, when I embraced Islam I read I went through thoroughly mm. the uh, the translation Japanese translation of the Quran the entire Quran mm. so I read again and again so that's why maybe probably uh, other Japanese people also maybe go through the similar process Mashallah, yeah. Mashallah. and that's actually any it's one of the Dawa tools that we've left yes uh, I'm a member of uh, Sahaba Academy in, in Istanbul and we have a yearly uh, uh, conference there. And th what we focused on this year was you know, to, to revive the wahi, the meaning yeah. the Quran and Sunnah, and giving da'wah. Because one of the things that we've left is that we don't uh, focus on using the Quran as one of the tools of da'wah. Yeah. Even though even just hearing, and I remember even seeing a, a famous uh, Jap I believe it was a reporter, Japanese reporter with Sheikh Al-Arifi. Um, and so it's on YouTube, you can see it. He just listened to the Quran and mm -hmm. he listened to Arabic uh, like recited from from the sheikh and, and he, he talked in Arabic normal you saw this maybe I know yeah he did normal yeah. Arabic and then he did the recitation yes. like you know Muhammad yeah, 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 yeah. he just said something like a normal Arabic sentence but reading like Quran then he read the Quran and he immediately knew the Japanese reporter even though he never heard a word of Arabic he knew right away so that's the power of the Quran even I found subhanAllah in, in, in the Islamic exhibitions that we have in Ireland and the UK that one of the main things that people put in the feedback forums it's how they felt when they heard the Quran, the mm. Quran booth and the recitation mm. of the Quran. So that shows us, you know, listening, reading, as you said, the translation and this help, help. Even for myself, when I first became Muslim, what really kept me firm was reading. I didn't understand Arabic then. I was reading through the English translation, but yet that was what helped keep me firm, alhamdulillah. Mm. Uh, what would you think would be the main things we need to stay away from when it comes to giving da'wah to the Japanese? Now we know some of the main things to focus on. You mentioned argumentation as one of the things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so it's important to know what to focus on and what to stay away from. All right. <coughs> so there must be a step mm. of dawa. So first we will not talk about the Sharia part, yeah? mm. about uh, the, the, let's say uh, the pork and alcohol, yeah. Yeah, the prohibition, uh, as well as some the details, the rules and regulations mm. about the clothing and the, the women, the relation between the men and women, for example, some details. Yeah? Mm. So these are the, all the branches, I believe. So mm. these are later. Mm. We will not put them some difficult conditions at the beginning. So always go to the Tawheed, mm. most foundation, foundational information or Excellent. knowledge. Excellent. Yeah, that, that is something. And uh, interesting enough, you're saying that because uh, in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu anha, that she mentioned the Prophet sallam, he said that you know, so if, it, if it came down in the beginning to your people in Mecca to leave you know, alcohol, to leave fornication, leave these things, they would have never, never yes, left it. Yes, so yes, then even for them, when they accepted Islam, it had to be gradually. So that's yeah. an important for us as dua to take the same principles, the yeah. same teachings, yeah. in order to teach the people, uh, you know, gradually. And, yeah. and, and these type of things that we know are going to make them run away. Exactly. Yeah. And that's important yeah. to understand. Oh, these type of things for Japanese people, yeah. these type of things, people from Brazil or from Mexico, this is going to push them away. So yeah. we don't focus on these things. Yeah. And then once a person comes to Islam, mm. 
eventually you'll find that, that once the iman is strong enough, yeah. they'll be able, inshallah ta'ala, to leave it themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And they get in that environment mm -hmm. and, and they start to learn, okay, yeah. I need to leave this. And they'll leave it, inshallah ta'ala. Yeah. Very good. Um, you mentioned the issue of the translation of the Qur'an. Mm -hmm. And I know, alhamdulillah, that you're the one, you, you translate now the, the, the Qur'an Japanese. If you could tell us about your experience and how mm -hmm. that came about and, and the translation you have done of the Qur'an. Okay, so as I mentioned, the Qur'an, even the translation, it has power. Even myself, I just read the Qur'an, the translation, it tells me a lot. So the first, uh, before starting the Dawah, the full-time Dawah, mm. I was always thinking, planning, I have to translate this entire Qur'an from a very fresh perspective, which means a more easy Japanese, not archaic, not traditional mm. Japanese language. That's yeah. So that's why I have always had this planning. So then I... The, the original translation was in the, like the, the classic Japanese? Yeah, or? Okay. it was like 1950s translation. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Similar to what we had in English. Yes. The, you had the, the old, old version, yeah. Yusuf Ali and this, which no one could really understand. And then we have the no, more modern exactly, version. Yeah, now. Exactly, okay, yeah, good. similar, yeah. So uh, that's why I'm looking for one uh, Arabic expert, a Muslim. Mm -hmm. So uh, I found. So mm -hmm. two of us, we started this planning. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah, within two years, we completed every Mashallah. every uh, every day. We have to spend four hours. That is a commitment. Mashallah. Four hours every day. Yeah. yeah. So alhamdulillah, after two years, we completed. We published. Mm -hmm. It's very highly quality paper, like a dictionary type of Mashallah. paper. Excellent. And then very nice uh, hard cover, uh, yeah, style. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Now, I think that's you know one of the things that I've uh, I've learned from you, and this is something Mashallah that we always benefit from one another as du'a when we come together. Um, even someone who has, uh, you can find some of our elders who have actually have maybe more experience sometimes, but that doesn't mean you can't benefit from someone else. We benefit from all, 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 yeah. all, all, all of each other all of the time. It's important. And I remember Imam al-Bukhari, he said something very amazing to Imam al-Tirmidhi. Imam al-Tirmidhi was his student. And he said to him, he said, I've learned more than you than you learned from me. And he said, Imam al-Tirmidhi was shocked. He said, how is that? He said, because all of the questions you ask, you know, so mm -hmm. I always I tell the brothers, you know, that we need to, I always look at myself as a student. So I'm, al I'm always constantly learning. When I find something, I take it. So the issue you said right now, commitment, mm. four hours a day. And that's a, a great lesson for the brothers and sisters who are watching with us, is to focus on committing. When you commit to something, you know, four hours a day, and then it gets done. Yeah. But if you were just to give it a, something, a couple hours here, a couple hours there, you would probably be 10 years mm. down the line yeah, and you yeah. still wouldn't have it completed. Mm. So that commitment. And a, another benefit that I, I benefited, and it, go back to what you mentioned earlier about, uh, it's not about the shahada, focus mm -hmm. on the shahada. Mm -hmm. and, and even we focus in our Dawah uh, courses, we talk about you know, using go rap and, mm -hmm. and what have you. It, obviously, we want the shahada, but the other objective is, is planting the seeds. Yep. And you plant the seeds, maybe you'll get the fruits later. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned you know, that you had much of the, uh, you know, during the World Cup and, and, and the mosque visits, 216 quality conversations, yeah, yeah. alhamdulillah. So if you could explain that a bit to us, the quality conversations. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So generally speaking, mm. it is very hard to invite mm. uh, Japanese non-Muslim to any cultural, even cultural event. Okay. When it comes to like a Islamic talk and the public talk, mm. they're not interested and they are so busy. So that's why uh, for my like last four years trial, like even one month I have like a one, two, three uh, culture events, mm -hmm. but probably I can call maybe only 30, 40 people max. Mm -hmm. yeah, but this time only 23 days I s spent here. So more than 200 people appeared, right? Mm -hmm. So that is really amazing number. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I, I can, I mean, spend time, I'm a more quality conversation mm -hmm. with this number of people. Mm -hmm. So this is really amazing. Alhamdulillah. And they, and they came. And he, do, you, do you think that this could be a tool that we could use in Japan? I don't know. I haven't seen. I, yeah. I'm going to visit soon, inshallah. I was inshallah, planning, inshallah, hopefully, inshallah. Yes. But I, I, for example, some of the mosque, mosque yeah. tours or something, yeah, yeah. you think maybe that could be. Yes. Uh, there is a potential masjid we call uh, Tokyo Jami. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, well, central masjid in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. uh, already they are receiving a lot of tourists Excellent. and the students mm -hmm. to visit. However, uh, when it comes to tour, uh, there is only one Japanese uh, they are handling and then he is not so much trained in terms mm -hmm. of like Gorap, let's say, like not really focusing, mm -hmm. but he is more explaining the history okay. of the mosque only. Yeah. So that's why maybe we need some kind of reform. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you want to try other masjid, the problem is that uh, their masjid is just reform of the, mm -hmm. of the building. Yeah. Uh, it's not really attractive mm 
okay. for the general Japanese people. So we need something attractive and we need someone who's trained to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, we, we saw the results here in, yeah. in Qatar when you hear, yeah. mashallah, the beautiful mosque in yes. Qatar, they came yes. to visit the mosque. Yes, yes. Mashallah, it was very, very beautiful. Yeah. Um, one of the stories the other night that you told us, which had a, you know, a big impact on, on, on us in, in our gathering, was the story of your da'wah for your mother and your father. Oh, yes. If you could tell us a bit about that okay. and, and how that was. Um, right. So, uh, it's famous hadith says that uh, our jan, our paradise is uh, underneath of the, the foot of the mother, right? So, mm. the, our priority uh, is first and the mother and of course our father too. So, always, this all I think the reverts, they have wish, very strong wish. Mm. Their parents become Muslim mm. one day. Mm. Uh, although it's uh, very hard because we know each other so detail, mm. so there is strong rejection also, I mean, mm. yeah. So that's why, it, it, similarly, I also faced a very strong rejection from mm. the beginning. I, I could say that almost 20 years. Mm. I tried for 20 mm. years, yeah. Um, just briefly speaking, just, you know, I try to speak uh, basics of Islam, try to explain them, but always, you know, get the negative reaction. They, especially my father got angry many mm. times. Uh, so it really uh, prevents me from doing you know, again and again. So, but um, I always, uh, after prayer, you know, I make dua. So what to do? So just I got the idea that first uh, we have to rebuild, normalize the relationship. Mm. So I try to give some the gifts for my father, uh, what he likes. Yeah. So that is the coffee. He he loves coffee. Mashallah. And then. Uh, some Japanese nuts. people drink, drink a lot of coffee as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The, pro the Prophet yeah. said, Tahadu, Tahabu. If you give gifts and it makes it creates love amongst you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Amazing, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah. So coffee and nuts? Yeah, nuts, yeah. So yeah, I, I continuously, like every month I start giving. Yeah, excellent. So excellent. one day he just you know, opened his, I mean, the heart and just inviting us, including my wife, mm -hmm. to visit his, oh, I mean. Your wife is also down. from Japan? Or uh, from Indonesia. Indonesia, okay, Indonesia yeah. So we visited mm. during holiday. Then uh, the beginning is quite hard to, of course, talk about Islam from the very beginning. So almost I spend more four, five hours before starting about Islam. Mm. So what try to do, I try try to do uh, was that uh, uh, I try to focus their problem. Yeah, mm. probably my parents have already reached to seventy-five years old. Okay. So they have some concerns and worries. Mm. So I try to understand from their conversation what their main concern. Yeah. So they have two main concerns about the house. Mm. Generally, generally in Japan, the, the first son have to take care of the house, have to succeed for next generation. Yeah. So I'm uh, as a first son, so yeah. I'm responsible to take care of the house. Mm. But while now I'm, I'm living far away from my parents mm. because of my uh, job, so um, they concern. So who will mm. take over this house? So I said, I will take care of it, don't worry. So first worry uh, removed. Mm -hmm. The second worry is about their uh, physical condition or mm -hmm. mental condition. Uh, still they are okay, mm -hmm. and physically, mentally okay. Mm -hmm. But we don't know what will happen. So yeah. after they are like, you know, uh, become very forgettable, physically weak, then who will take care of them? So we said, it's okay, we can take care of it. Mm, so the second worry is also removed. So after that, my father just asked me one question, why do we have beer? Mm. <laughs> you know? So I said, uh, in order to understand your question mm. uh, well, so you need to understand the basics of Islam. Excellent. So do you have 10 minutes? Excellent. So I started the Gorab. Gorab, excellent. <laughs> yeah. It's very important for the viewers as well to <laughs> understand as well. That there's, we, we talk about Gorab. And go, it works. Yes. It, is, it's, it yes. has been proven. Yes. It's a proven method. Yeah. Yeah. However, I try to customize in Japanese uh -huh. version. Uh, the, okay, go right yeah. for Japanese. Japanese, Excellent. especially in terms of oneness. Excellent. Oneness part is I customize especially Excellent. for very Japanese. Good, good. So anyway, it, uh, after 10 minutes, my father asked me, then what do you want? He asked mm -hmm. me, what do you want? So, you know, my wife and myself, is, oh, this is something you didn't, well, we, uh, you didn't we expect, expect that, Yeah, right? we didn't expect so. Allah Akbar. So immediately my wife said that, uh, okay, we need shahada. Allah Akbar, mashallah. You know, you testify, mm. they're no worthy of, not worthy of worship but Allah. And then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. Yeah, yeah. So they repeated again and again. Alhamdulillah, excellent, excellent. <laughs> of course they understand meaning because I already explained in, in 10 minutes. Alhamdulillah. So Alhamdulillah. So we make a sujood shukr. 
Yeah, like this Morocco, Morocco, yeah, 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 yeah play yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Excellent, mashallah. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, mashallah. It's very good. Um, okay, now the question I think everyone wants to know as well, any briefly, any how you revert to Islam. Okay. Your <coughs> okay. So when I was 20 years old, when I was a university student, uh, I met a Muslim student in my department uh, from Bangladesh. Mm. Yeah. My major was culture anthropology. I study different culture. I'm interested in different culture. And he's from Bangladesh, and we came across like uh, became friendship because uh, because English language actually. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, he he only speak English, and uh, he wants to learn Japanese from me. Mm -hmm. Then I also want to practice English, so we made friendship. I'm sure. Then one day he invited me to his hometown in Bangladesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in summer vacation, I spent one week. Sure. Yeah, and visited, but you know I faced so much culture shock there. So much yeah. culture shock. Yeah, big difference. Huh? Yeah, big difference. Uh, it was 1996. Mm. <coughs> Still, the Bangladesh was so uh, under development. Mm. And uh, when I arrived at the airport, there were so many poor people, the beggars. They mm. surrounded me, like more than 50. Like. So what is this? I've never encountered mm. this kind of situation. Uh -huh. Then the street, you know, street children are sleeping on the street, on the road. Mm. So what is this? You know, so I was thinking that uh, yes, yes, I, can, I can imagine, you know, being from a place like Japan. Yeah, that's your, you know. Was, was this your first time outside of Japan? Or yes, it was first my trip overseas. Wow. Allah that Allah. was Bangladesh. Allah. Yeah. Allah. So what happens? So uh, <clears throat> just I thought, they are just simply born in Bangladesh. They are that, that condition. I was just simply born in Japan. Maybe in education mm. and then maybe the health are secured. Mm. So what is this? Uh, because they have no rights. They have no uh, decision to make where they, they should be born, right? Mm. So from the very birth, there's a huge difference yes. around the world. Yeah, yeah. Some people simply because, you know, born in some poor family, they are poor. Yeah. Some people are born in the very rich family, they are rich, right? Yeah, exactly. So I think uh, we are just thinking about this, this life alone, then actually there is no significant meaning. Mm. Because very from the very starting point, huge difference, yes, well. you know? And you cannot ma you know, make balance mm -hmm. eventually. So what is this? I was thinking, thinking like this. And while I'm thinking, I experienced a very good uh, family relationship with my, fa with my friend. Yeah, sure. He has extended family. They're very warmly welcoming. And uh, even I visited his hometown, I, uh, the village. The people are very poor. The children are just running naked. Mm -hmm. But they are very energetic and very welcoming. Sure. So what is this? Mm. They are energetic. Interesting. So I know they are Muslim, all Muslim. So maybe there's so something to do with uh, Islamic value or Islamic teaching or not. Mm -hmm. So after back to Japan, then I start reading uh, the books on Islam. So that time there no internet, no email. Mm. So um, I went to public library to find the Quran. Just I found the Quran translation. Mm -hmm. Then I start reading. I found a very unique concept. The mm -hmm. concept of akhirah, yeah, wow. life after death, mm -hmm. which um, almost all Japanese people never think about it every yes, day. Um, Even one second they never think about. That's amazing, it's so yeah. busy, right? Yeah. Oh, so if I think about this concept into consideration, really, then I can solve my first question, the the problem, mm -hmm. because the the place of birth actually doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Where you are born in Bangladesh or Japan, it doesn't matter. What matter is how we live. Mm. how we uh, spend our time, our resources, in which direction, yeah. is it good or bad? You know? So there is a mizan, the, the, the scale, and it will be judged uh, justly. Yes. Because the judge is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no single injustice mm. and akhirah. So it can be balanced. Mm. So that's why it gives me really solution to my, I mean, the, the question. Yeah, yeah? And secondly, I also encountered the unique concept of God. Uh, I, have n I never imagined that there is a definition of God. Mm. Because Japanese people, they believe millions of gods. Yes, well. Yeah. So, and then we have no textbook, like a Quran or Bible, mm. because they are Shintoism, Buddhism, right? They don't have this uh, canon, canonical, like uh, mm. uh, scriptures. Scriptures, yeah. yeah. From, from God. Yeah. So that's why we do not have any uh, resource uh, to understand the concept or the definition of God. Mm -hmm. That only myth or legend, yeah, or folklore only. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. 
So that's why when I read this, the 112, you know, Kulu huwa Allah ahad, you know, say he is Allah. The what people believe the great power is named Allah. And only one, only. So such a simple explanation. So simple. And, and I, I was thinking that time, do we need more than one God? You know, this one God can create everything. I mean, every created things. Khalas, you know. But not necess there is no necessity to have more than one God. Mm. Logically speaking, because one God can create, but we need at least one God because we, we exist. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, as a design, right? Mm. We have a design, so there must be a one designer at least. Exactly. Yeah? So. At least one designer. But do we have to have more than one design? Not necessary. Mm -hmm. so. Not necessary. So that's why I realized, okay, this simple, I mean, logic. Yeah. It's interesting you mentioned those two things because yeah. the Quran, you know, we have the Meccan Quran and the Quran of the, of the time in, in Medina. Yeah. And the main focus when it comes to the Tawheed and the Aqeedah and the Iman in the, in, in the Meccan era, it focused on those two things, the oneness of God and it focused on the issue of the Akhirah yes. hereafter, the resurrection, what have yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. These are the two things it focused yeah. on in detail. And those are the two things that hit, hit you when you read that. Oh, you remind me. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, that's it's, true. It's, it's amazing. That's true, it's, yeah. SubhanAllah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So after you read this, and you, what, what happened after that? Yeah, after that, so, uh, you know, the culture anthropology has two ways to understand different culture, the outside and inside. Mm. So the people, like let's say sushi, the Japanese sushi is mm. famous, right? Mm. So when the non-Japanese people, they, they want to like evaluate sushi, they are like, you know, talking about sushi from outside. Sushi is like this and like mm. that, you know? But better eat it, right? Mm. Yeah. So, so he can describe more, exactly, right? Yeah. So that's why it's a similarly, if I just observe Islam from outside, you know, uh, like just reading Quran, and it does, probably I cannot get really the inside point of view. Mm. Because Islam is a faith. Yeah. It's a way of life. So if I don't take it, I mean, just if I don't eat, mm. <laughs> probably mm. I cannot really describe yeah. the true inner nature, the Amazing. beauty of Islam. Mashallah. That's why after one year, after reading, reading Quran, I cannot have any improvements mm. further. So, okay, let's try to believe and practice it. Excellent. Amazing. Mashallah. Yeah, so I make shahad and I start prayer. Mashallah. And the one thing I have... So it, the, the journey was about from the time you went to Bangladesh to came back reading yeah. about, about one year? One right? year, it took one year. Mashallah. Yeah. And the, I found the one very important finding from mm. internal perspective, mm. that is the stability and tranquility of the heart. Allah Akbar. Amazing. Yeah. For example, today we have a Russian and this Ukraine war, right? Yeah. So socially very unstable. Mm. People are saying the Third World War or nuclear war, right? Mm. And then uh, economically, always the business is up and down, right? Yeah. 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 And then even health. Uh, now we have coronavirus you know, infection and then many people died suddenly. Mm. And then many people infected and they suffer, right? Yeah. Uh, healthy also, very unstable. You look at the people, people have different opinions, that they complain and they're unstable too. So if we focus, if our consciousness, if we focus so much on these things, the, our heart will be unstable. Yes, well, That's why the Quran mentioned you have to focus on Allah, be conscious of God, that taqwa, yeah. always reminding. Allah you have to focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because Allah is totally stable. Amazing. Yeah, totally stable, perfect. Mashallah. Right? There is no uh, imperfection there. So that's why we can totally rely on. That's why even society, the people changing every day, every moment. But we have a prayer time five days, five times a day, and we can have a, a connection, communication mm. with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. That is hundred percent stable, mm. and we can rely on. So that's why we can get this tranquility or stability of the heart, Excellent. even with this uh, changing society. So that is uh, what I realize. Amazing. The benefits amazing, of this yeah. dunya. Not yeah. waiting Akhirah, Jannah. Like but that. we can get the benefit yeah. of Islam in this time, in this dunya. That's why Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, he mentioned that there's a Jannah in this dunya. Yeah. He said, if you don't enter the Jannah of this dunya, you won't enter the Jannah of the hereafter. Mm. And that's what, that what you mentioned is there. It's Mashallah. with the Quran, it's with this, and this tranquility yeah. that you find in the heart. Allah bi dhikrillahi at the heart center, they find assurance through the remembrance of yeah. Allah. And there's a blessing that we have, and I've always, I focus on this a lot with the brothers, is that uh, we have this, you know, the tranquility of the heart, which comes from the Quran, yeah. and comes from the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it's what so many people are, are, are searching for, and that's why so many people are going to, you know, Buddhism, meditation, mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. from this, because they're looking for that, and we, we have that in the Quran, 
We have that in the dhikr. We need to, first of all, benefit it from ourselves and then have a positive impact on ourselves as yeah. Muslims and then be able to share it with others, inshallah ta'ala. So just uh, before we wrap up, uh, two things. First of all, when it comes to you know, helping the da'wah in, in Japan, um, and one of the things that I, I learned from you now is that if it comes from someone who is Japanese, mm -hmm. from that culture, it's going to have more of an impact. Yep. So would you say that you know, to, to focus and in, in, uh, you know, building up uh, the, 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 the reverts who come, students of knowledge, du'at, is, is that one, what would be one of the key things yeah, to have yeah. an impact, inshallah? Yeah, sure. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. We need us, uh, like for me, uh, I'm local Japanese, a full time dai, but oh, I'm alone. Yeah, so, yeah. so we need a second, a third, and a third, a fourth uh, full time dai. Yeah, Excellent. Probably each uh, prefecture, or you can say state or mm -hmm. province, we need at least one. So that is, uh, is really we are looking for. Yeah, but however, we have to develop human resources. Yeah. So that's important, yeah, inshallah. Very important. So, so the brothers and sisters who are, are, are watching, inshallah ta'ala, we'll put in, in, the, in the below in the link, inshallah, where you can help uh, the, uh, the, the Dao, inshallah, in Japan, inshallah ta'ala. Anything else the brothers and sisters could do to help the Dao, yeah. inshallah? So the helping this the Kuruan project. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, so we are basically we are uh, distributing this uh, Japanese easy Japanese translation mm -hmm. of the Quran for free of charge. So we open up this uh, Quran project. Uh, mm -hmm. The one copy mm -hmm. is about twenty or twenty five dollars. Ah, it depends okay. on the how much copy we order. Okay, sure, so good. if more than one thousand copies, then fifty percent discount. Excellent. So it will be like a twelve or thirteen US yeah, dollars only. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So we we'll get people to donate for the Qurans and as well, and we need to, people to sponsor du'at inshallah. Yeah, inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Brother Salman, and he uh, is from Aira, from the uh, du'at who are from Aira, mashallah. He did a fantastic job here with us in the World Cup, and we benefited a lot from us. And one of the things that we benefit, I want to end with this, inshallah, ta'ala, is uh, what you mentioned the other night when we were having the dinner, and the, when you talked about, you know, it's not just the team, you mentioned even the fans and all of that, how, how, how it comes together, mm -hmm. so we, we can use that as a da'wah. Things. So you could remind us of, of what you said. Oh yeah. yeah. So in, in Qatar, like a Japan yeah. team has so become famous. Mm. Uh, not only Japan team, but uh, the supporters. Yeah. They clean up the stadium. Yeah, it's amazing. Right? Yeah. So even they lose, they lost a game, but they still they are cleaning. Allah, Allah, yeah. Allah, sure. And the Japanese player also they clean the their changing room. Mashallah. Yeah. So this is a kind of a synergy or the collaboration between supporters and the players. Mm -hmm. So they really support each other, the Excellent. teamwork, Excellent. the teamwork. Uh, so we can see that even the dawah, mm -hmm. dawah, of course the dai is uh, the front side, it's like mm -hmm. a players. Yeah. But there is always the, the, the back office work, groundwork. Mm -hmm. exactly. So management side, also mm -hmm. very, very important to support this dai. Exactly. So this is a teamwork. Yeah. Yeah. I, I benefited from that when you said it so much because I've used this analogy many times yeah. in, in my lectures. I, I say about the, the players, they're the, they're the dais. But as you have the coach, yeah. it was very important. Yep. You have the management. Yes. Also the medical staff, yes. if they can't take care of the injuries of the players, the players are going to play at a higher level. Yeah. So we need, we need, just as the players need to be comfortable, our dais need to be comfortable so they can focus on what? Focus on da'wah. Yeah. Just as the one who's the player, he focuses on, Play, yeah. on playing and, yeah. and, and, and getting results. But that you, you added the issue of the support of the team. So that's the bigger hose. Um, I, really, I really like that. Inshallah. Yeah, that's for yeah. our brothers and sisters who are watching at home. They can you know, get involved and, su and support the Dawah in, in many ways. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Oh, yeah, really appreciate you taking your time. And you're on the way to the airport, mashallah. Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> and we had a very long day yes. uh, at the stadium, mashallah, and uh, going around, mashallah. So may Allah bless you and bless your efforts. Yeah, you You've too. been away from your family for a long time. Yeah. May Allah bless your family. Yeah, for having su Amin. suffer as well for uh, letting, yeah, 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 letting yeah. you be here for all this time. Alhamdulillah. And, alhamdulillah. So inshallah, uh, we'll keep in touch and hope we're going to yes. visit you soon inshallah. in Japan, inshallah. Jazakallah khair, akhi. My pleasure. Jazakallah khair. Thank you, Jazakallah khair. Salam alaykum. Salam alaykum. Salam alaykum. Wa man ahsanu qawlan min man da'a ila Allahi wa amila salihan wa qal وقال إنني من المسلمين